Hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again. So today I've got a different kind of video and the video is concerning macros in Diablo 4 or well any other game. And as you can see I already have my macro for playing Rogue in Diablo 4 set up. All I gotta do is to keep my square held down and it does the rotation for me. You know perfect rotation, two basic attacks, one course kill. I actually recommend two basics, one core, uh, because uh, the damage difference between basic to core is, well, almost non-existent and it's easier to keep your energy up this way, especially if you're like myself and uh, you do not have energy cost uh, reduction on your amulet and no resource generation on your ring. So doing two basics, one core is very, very handy. Now, you can set this up on consoles, as far as I know, as well. I know that for PlayStation, you gotta have DualShock, the custom DualShock, not the base edition uh, that's included. So, unfortunately, you would have to buy a new one. Or you gotta have the PlayStation keyboard with mouse. Uh, there, you can set up macros as well within the console settings. For Steam Deck, for example, there is a setting for that already within the console. So all you gotta do is to create the macro. And I bet that for Xbox, there is something similar. So you can use this pretty much everywhere. Unfortunately, I don't have any consoles to test that and to record that to show it to you guys. So today I'm gonna show you how to do it with PS4 because that's what I'm using, or PS5 controller on a PC, and how to do it on your mouse if you're playing on mouse and keyboard. So let's start with the controller, and all you gotta do is to download an app called DS4 Windows. There will be, there will be a link to the download site in the description down below. Once you have the app uh, up and running, and your controller connected to your PC, of course, all you gotta do is click it. At first, the key mapping is set to Xbox 360, which is something you probably don't want. Well, maybe you do, I don't know, but uh, I would suggest that uh, you don't. So you click on Other, and here's Emulated Controller, and you just pick DualShock 4. Now the key mapping within the game will be for PlayStation. Now, uh, to get to how to make macros, all you gotta do is to choose what button to use for the macro and you can like use anything literally anything even the touchpad you know like left click right click you know double click like all of that works but I am using square so I click on square record a macro and I already have it here so let me clear that and do it from the scratch for you so I click record and then I click basic basic core okay x x square so now it's done, I gotta click stop, but it's not gonna work just yet. Because what you need is to insert wait, to insert delay between the button presses and button releases. So basically whenever you see an arrow up, because that's the button release, you click insert wait. Insert wait, and third time the charm, insert wait. Then you click on save, apply, save, and you are set to use your PS4 or PS5 controller, you know, to play Diablo 4 or any other game. And now, again, just holding square. Just holding square, baby. So easy, so comfortable. We have just, we have just defeated Carpal Tunnels, Wrist Pain. All of that is gone because especially when playing Rogue, and especially when using your mouse where the rotation looks like this like try it for five minutes and that's like instant carpal tunnels you know like instant noodles so this is it this is it just uh, a lot of pain instead of food <laughs> so no more of that uh, obviously I wouldn't suggest using this in games like League of Legends which are it's probably not even possible because like what would you what would you use there like um, you know you gotta react in real-time scenario there it's not like fixed rotation or anything but uh, you know just like to use it as an example I wouldn't use it there because it's highly competitive 
competitive player versus player game. And if anyone found out, I'm sure it would be considered an offense and uh, you might be punished for it or even banned. Okay, but in games like Diablo, like sorry, who cares? So you will clear the dungeon two seconds earlier uh, because the rotation was a bit more precise and you will actually take care of your health. And those two seconds will give you, what, gear? <laughs> you know, Glyph EXP two seconds earlier, so I'm 100% sure no one will ever give a damn about using macros in Diablo uh, 4. So that's how you can do it on a controller. If you don't know how to connect your controller to your PC, let me show you as well. All you gotta do is to go into settings, you know, type in Bluetooth and devices, but it's the second one. So Bluetooth and devices, add device, and then you choose the first one, Bluetooth, mice, keyboards, pens, audio devices, controllers, and more. Okay, now it's waiting for pairing. All you gotta do on your PS controller is to, you know, keep your logo, PS logo and share button pressed down at the same time for a few seconds and it will pair with the computer. What's also uh, pretty easy is to set these macros for your mouse because why? Well, you probably already have the application for it um, because the application for it is your peripheral application. So it's like ICUE for Corsair, you know, Razer Vortex or Cortex or whatever it's called uh, for, well, obviously Razer. <laughs> then there's uh, G-Hub for Logitech, you know, all those applications or even like if you're playing on a laptop, you know, all those like Lenovo, Asus, you know, or I don't know, how, is it Asus? Asus? It's Asus probably, right? <laughs> it's not an ass. Uh, Acer, you know, all those probably uh, have their own application for that as well. So it's really easy. Uh, for me, it's ICUE because I'm having uh, Corsair peripherals. So all I got to do is to click on key assignments plus here's macro. Choose a key. So let's choose like 10. Okay, I have the mouse with a lot of side buttons because I'm a work of work of player so player so it helps a lot then you click record and record like whatever you want okay stop and uh, that's it then you just obviously save it but that's it I'm gonna delete it because uh, I don't wanna you know by accident press 10 and start typing and sending some shits <laughs> so that's how you do it on um, on your mouse as well, so no longer you have to do all these crazy, you know, rotations. All you gotta do is to just like, just press one button. Press one button and it will do it for you. The game is so much better. And well, to be honest, like if I were to suggest uh, how to play it, my pick is definitely the controller. Like I, I, I'm a hardcore player for more than 20 years and I have never had worse gaming experience uh, on mouse and keyboard than Diablo. Like. Veteran players probably won't agree with me because they're just used to it. But all the players that I convinced to, you know, throw their mouse and keyboards out of the window and just use a controller, like all of them said they will never ever go back. The game is so much better, so comfy to play on a controller, especially in like a beanbag or something, you know, and just, like, just like laying down and enjoying the game. Lovely. Anyway. Uh, I hope that uh, you found this helpful. Uh, I am very, very grateful to Siuni from the Diablo 4 Discord because he's the one who brought uh, macros to my attention. This is actually the first time ever I'm using uh, macros. I usually tried to just, um, you know, be skilled. But I'm getting old. I don't need skill. I need help. <laughs> I just want to I just want to chill in the game, you know? So this is it. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.